I want also to tell people that witchcraft ni ukweli na inafanya kazi kama unaiamini because most of the time nilikuwa naitishwa na mwenye anaenda shagari nilikuwa naona ndio wako na do. Yes. <laughs> nilikuwa ukweli wako na do. Ah, wengi hawako na pesa, wengi hata wanaenda shagari lakini wako na mashida tu. I remember kuna wakati vijana wengine walikuja huko walikuwa wanataka kuua msichana mwingine, walitoa 100,000. Hizo kuku zenye mnaonanga mnaitishwa kuku. Hizo kuku watu wa wanakula tu. Cuz tulikuwa tukimaliza kuhudumia client ikifika saa saba, tunachinja kuku tunakula na ugali. Gari kuharibika nika tukajiuliza nini mbaya wakasema watu wote washuke waangalie gari kuna shida gani watu wote wakishuka gari na move watu wakirudi gari na kwama so hawa waislamu ni watu wanajua sana kwa detect hizo vitu wakasema kwa hii gari kuna mtu wako na maneno so naenda naongelesha watoto na waambia maneno ya early pregnancy na waambia maneno ya rape cases mm-hmm. and most of them wakiniona wanasema eh tunatamani tukue kama wewe naambia hapana usikue kama eh, unajua msikue kama mimi saa hizi because i'm just story yangu mm-hmm. as we speak right now i have an invitation to a disababa will be having a meeting from 8 to 11th mm-hmm. akwenda huko Ethiopia kuongelea pia the same same mambo na wasichana na women We touch we break make it seem like we feel the same we love what we hate Midday TV spilling the tea setting the trends Hi Media Digital Media viewer, hope you are doing amazing. Welcome to yet another episode of Media Digital Media Boss Lady Edition. And the person I'm bringing to you today is a real boss lady. She was a victim of early pregnancy. She got married at an early age. Her mom tried to rescue her from the marriage and take her back to school, but ni kama mapenzi ilikuwa imeshika, she ran back to her husband. And at one point, alipigana na mwanamke mwenzake because she was having an affair with the then husband and at another point she also was a part time witch doctor tatuambia experience ilikuwaje and that aside today she is a girl child ambassador being the founder of Warid Kenya just ensuring the well being of young girls and young women tatuambia was the exp- uh, was this drawn from the experience she had in her own life mm. ladies and gentlemen allow me present to you madam scholastica mahongo mambo vipi Mambo poa kabisa. Umekuaje? Nimekuwa salama. Imekuwa muda tangu tuwa nani? E, ni muda sana lakini nashukuru. Mm-hmm. E. I've just given them a gist of your story and yes. I know they are so eager to hear this kwanza mm. hapo part pa which doctor. <laughs> so just tell us maisha yako ya utotoni ilikuwa vipi? Ah uh, maisha yangu ya, ya utotoni kwanza kabisa naitwa Scholastica Mahongo mm-hmm. na nimeokoka kwa sasa Kristo ni bwana. Mm-hmm. I'm also a pastor and I am a mother mm-hmm. and I thank God for everything. Mm-hmm. So maisha yangu ya utotoni nikianza kulelewa nililelewa kwa familia ya Ukristo. Mm-hmm. Lakini kafika mahali at the age of 16 years nikakuwa pregnant. Mm-hmm. Na That we, was during your high school. Yes, during my high school, high school when I was in form 2. Mm-hmm. So the guy that impregnated me akanichukua akakimbia na mimi hadi kule nakuru mm-hmm. na nilipofika huko life ikakuwa ngumu sana. Mm-hmm. Alikimbia nawe nakuru lilelewa wapi? Nililelewa side za kule Gotnyabondo Kisumu mm-hmm. huko ndio kwetu. Mm-hmm. My father alibai land huko. Mm-hmm. Uh, for all the way from Kaimosi. So nime, nimelelewa huko kwa Wajaluo, nika nini huko nikasomea huko until nikaolewa sasa kule kwa wakali njini. Mm-hmm. So kidogo wakati niliingia katika hiyo ndoa niliingia when I was still young 16 16 years I was still young sikujua marriage ni nini na the following year tena nikashika mimba so nikawa niko na watoto wawili and mm-hmm. now there was no way for me to go to get out of that marriage because I felt that tayari nisha jimekea decision mm-hmm. yenye sasa I, I, I kept on regretting but ikawa ni ngumu mimi kutoka mm-hmm. So maisha ikawa magumu sana kwa hiyo marriage we started selling alcohol we started selling cigarettes to survive i started uh, uh, kulimia watu kwa mashamba ndio maisha at least nipate chakula because the man i had married by that time was a drunkard mm. alikuwa anakunywa pombe kazi yake ilikuwa ni kunipiga yeye pia akani recruit nikaanza kukunywa pombe nikaanza kuchemsha changa nikaanza kutengeneza uh, busa nikaanza kuuza hadi banki maisha yangu ikawa mbaya sana. Mm. Then kwa hiyo muda nilikaa huko nili feel like I'm wasting a lot but I really I really wasted a lot because nilikaa huko 12 good years. Uh, by the time nifunguke macho nitoke it was too late. 
mm. but i thank god because in the in the process pia mungu alinisaidia kujifunza mambo mengi mm. kutoka hapo nilitoka nikakuja huko nairobi at a place huko at river machakos county nikakuja mm. kufanya kazi kwanza kabla utoke kwa ile ndoa yes. how was life was he helping you take care of this baby mm. and how how was you just juggling He was not helping me to take care of the babies. Mm -hmm. I was the one uh, working hard to make sure ends meet. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa naenda kulimia watu. Uh, nauza hizo machangaa na kuambia, nauza hizo mabusa. Kwa wale wananijua hata wale wataona interview they know me. Mm -hmm. They know the kind of work I was doing in the village. It was not easy for me being born again in a Christian family na unakuja kwa familia umeolewa mahali wanachemsha pombe. It was not easy for me. Mm -hmm. So he was not taking care of me. Ni mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nashughulika. Mm -hmm. So yes. unabeba mtoto kwa mgongo unaenda yes. kulima. Naenda nabeba mtoto kwa mgongo naenda kulimia watu kule Oshago unajua unalima at the end of the day unapewa 50 shillings. So hiyo 50 unakuja jioni by that time mahindi ilikuwa 30 shillings na shaga na 3 shillings mboga na chuna chuna kwa jirani na pika chakula nya ina mafuta tunakula and mm -hmm. that is how we were surviving mm -hmm. yes. yeye shughuliki kabisa yeye yeye alikuwa shughuliki mm -hmm. god helped me nikakopa pesa nikanunua hadi motorbikes tatu nikampatia moja yeye kazi yake ni kwenda tu akishabeba beba watu kazi yake ni ulevi mm -hmm. So hakuna kitu alikuwa ananisaidia kabisa mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how did you get out of that place Uh, I got out of that place after sitting down and coming back to my senses. Mm -hmm. Nikajiuliza hii life naishi nitaishi life pakalini. Mm -hmm. Because I'm married to this man, anisaidii chochote. Mimi ndio bibi, mimi ndio bwana, mimi ndio nashughulikia watoto. My kids are learning. Mimi mwenyewe hakuna kitu nasaidika nayo. Nikakaa nikaona hakuna haja. Mm -hmm. Wacha tu nitoke kwa hii ndoa, at least niende nikatafute kazi. Because alikuwa na shinda amenipiga sana. There was a day I remember alinirushia jiko niko na alama kubwa sana hapa kwa tumbo mm. alinirushia jiko just because a certain politician amenunulia nguo ya kufanya campaign mm. he was so jealous alikuwa mtu mwenye ako pia insecure you know getting married to an illiterate person ako very insecure akiona like wewe uko sharp anaona ni kama utamshinda vitu mingi. Mm. so he kept on fighting me left right center nilikuwa sina amani mm. nilikuwa nashinda nimepigwa kila wakati mm -hmm. kila wakati mara nimekatwa masikio nimekatwa mkono na panga nimechomwa na tumbo mm. then it was just too much on me mm -hmm. then nikaamua nitoke sasa afanye kazi mm. wewe unafanya kazi unaleta pesa yes. bado anakupiga yes. what was the mother in law or your sisters in law saying ah uh, that family ni familia ambayo watu ni walevi First of all all my in-laws walikuwa nakunywa pombe na pia au wanapigana. Mm. So it was like hiyo ni tabia hiyo boma. It mm. was not a big deal to them wakiona watu wanapigana. In fact walikuwa naona tu ni kitu ya kawaida. Mm. Hata walikuwa natuangalia wanasema sisi hatubigani sana kama hao. Mm. So it's like sisi we were better than them. Mm. But it was not a good one. Mm -hmm. It was not a good experience. Mm -hmm. Na mlikuwa yeah. na nyumba. Ah uh, nikiolewa hapa tu kwa na nyumba mm. nilienda nikaolewa tukalala kwa bradhake nikiwa mjamzito huyo mtoto wa pili sasa mwenye nakwambia mm -hmm. nikiwa mjamzito nikajifungua after one week bradhake akatuambia tutoke by that time Mungu akanisaidia mi i like farming a lot mm -hmm. so nikapanda nyanya at uh, mtoto wangu akiwa na one month nilianza kwenda kwa shamba nikapanda nyanya nikajenga nyumba ya nyazi a one room house mm -hmm. hiyo ndio nyumba tulianzia life mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. And then nikakujaje mkakuwa na nyumba nyingine. So tukajenga ni kujenga hiyo nyumba ya nyazi, tukakaa kaa hapo kidogo kidogo Mungu akanisaidia nikapata kazi kwa kazi kwa vijana. Mm -hmm. Yenye ilikuwa nini ya kibaki. Nikakuwa the supervisors, nikapata kazi nilikuwa nalipwa pesa mzuri sana kwa wiki. Mm -hmm. So hiyo pesa ndio nika save save, nikapata pesa, nikanunua mabati, nikajenga nyumba kubwa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh. Na hiyo time mko na yeye ama Sharudi, nisema alikuwa anaenda na kuru kufanya kazi. By that time tulikuwa tushatoka na kuru tumerudi Oshago. Sisi wote sasa tulikuwa tunakaa nyumbani wakati tulitoka na kuru. Mm -hmm. Tulikuwa tunaishi huko nyumbani Oshago sasa. Mm -hmm. eh, so tulikuwa tunaishi na hapo nyumbani, yeye anaenda anafanya kazi ya boda boda, lakini hakuna pesa analeta. Nilikuwa na three motorbikes. Mm -hmm. Unapata hizi mbili ndio zinaleta pesa. Yeye hiyo yake haileti hata shilingi moja. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Na to what point ndo ulienda ukapigana na mtu kwa sababu mm -hmm. ya kuwa na afya na mume wako? At that point ya kwenda kupigana na mtu mm -hmm. it is when uh, kuna wakati tulitoka tukaenda mahali pa naitwa Nandi Hills. Alikuwa anafanya kazi huko ya club. Then I followed up on him. Nikasema wacha niende nione hii kazi anafanya mbona anitumia hata shilingi moja mm. kwa alifika fika mahali akatoka akaenda kufanya kazi ya club kufika huko nikapata kumbe ameweka mwanamke mimi niko nyumbani nafikiria niko sawa kumbe ameweka mwanamke huko mm. so tukafika mahali tukapigana nikaona hii life nikiendelea kukaa maybe naweza kufa niache watoto wangu mm. because 
looking at him he had nothing to lose because niliangalia alikuwa shawa wa bibi wa kwanza alienda na mtoto na hakuwa anashughulika na huyo mtoto mm-hmm. so i was like the second wife unaona mm-hmm. na hakuna siku hata ningaisikia akipigia huyo huyo msichana simu akimuuliza hata mtoto anaendelea aje then i felt like no it is time for me to leave mm-hmm. for that nitoke mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now speak to us after leaving that home what yes. did you do next after leaving that home nilikuja huku at the river nikakuja kufanya kazi ya kuuza maziwa i was being paid 5000 per month mm-hmm having watoto watatu by that time school fees iko kwangu but Mungu akanisaidia through that by that time si kwa nimeokoka mm. uh, nilikuwa i was a very bad uh, person i didn't mm. have even a good image mm. mimi ndio every friday ungenipata kule connection kwa bar naenda na lewa huko na kunywa pombe ungenipata mimi ndio nikishika bwana yako siwezi nikamwachilia because i met a certain lady mm. mahali kama niko kwa gari ina matatu So I met this lady tukaanza kupiga story vile watu wanakaanga kwa matatu and that is why I also want to speak to people ukikutana na mtu usikubali tu chanya anakuambia mm-hmm. because this is this is how our kids get themselves recruited in things that they don't know mm-hmm. So this woman akawa ananipatia story ananiambia unaendeleaje tukapiga piga story akaniambia ah mimi nitakuonyesha mahali penye ukienda hivi au anaumwa atakuwa anakufuata tu Ah uh, ni ukweli this lady alinipeleka mahali kwa mganga huko at river na nikajikuta kumbe pia huyo mganga mwenye anasema ako tu kwa Atriva. Mm. So vile nilienda kufika kwa huyo mganga Atriva nikawa nimeenda kumuona siku ya kwanza mganga akaniangalia akaniambia eh na wewe uko na nyota kubwa sana. And then I'm like how amejuaje? Mm. So kwenda huko akanipatia dawa ya siku ya kwanza akaniambia hii dawa utakuwa naamka asubuhi unaekelea kwa jiko inatoa moshi na ingia kwa uso yako. Ikisha ingia kwa uso yako wanaume wakikuona watakuwa nakufata. Uh, by that time it worked because siku nimeokoka na nilikuwa na imani kwa hizo vitu. Mm. So I want also to tell people that witchcraft ni ukweli na inafanya kazi kama unaiamini because by that time nilikuwa naamini sana hizo vitu because nilikuwa nataka msaada. Mm. I needed money, pesa nilikuwa napata ni kidogo. Mm. So the only thing I could do ni kufanya hiyo mambo na kwenda kwa ma clubs prostitution, kukunywa pombe, kuchukua mwanaume wenyewe na pia hizo madawa sasa nilikuwa naweza kutana na mtu hivi i remember there was a day kuna mzee mwingine tulikutana ya asubuhi mm. kama nimetoka tu kuweka hiyo dawa huyo mzee akanipatia 16000 kwa barabara tu hivyo bure tu hivyo yes then after one week ndio huyo mzee akanipigia simu akaniambia na wewe nilikupa anga pesa nini kwanza alichukua namba yangu <laughs> yeye yeah, yeah, anashindwa what happened ningekutana tu alituma mpesa hapana ningekutana tu na mtu anipe tu kwa barabara alikuwa amesimama tu kwa barabara na mimi nimesimama kwa njia mm. kwa hiyo mganga aliniambia ukitaka ku practice ujue dawa inafanya kazi kesha asubuhi kiamka mm. simama kwa njia mm. ataku utapata tu mwanaume atasimamisha tu gari ya kupea pesa so huyo mzali nipea tu pesa na akachukua namba then we started communicating sasa ni kama sisi ni marafiki mm. yes mm-hmm. but uh, in the process pia nikawa nimechukua bwana wenyewe mwenye pia alikuwa tu kwa Atriva mm-hmm. uh, huyo mwanaume alikuwa saidi bibi yake kabisa mm-hmm. i was like mimi ndio nam control mimi ndio niko na ATM ATM card yake mimi ndio nilikuwa na kila kitu yake mshahara ikiingia ni mimi najua ni ngapi nampatia hiyo ni kazi ya dawa hiyo ni kazi ya dawa sasa mm-hmm. so dawa imemshika mpaka hakuna kitu anaweza fanya mm-hmm. ni mimi nilikuwa kusema mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa naweza mpatia ikifika end month alikuwa anapata mshahara ya 40000 na mpatia 5k mm-hmm. na mwambia hii five ndio yako mm-hmm. so unapata bibi yake apati food yeye mwenyewe pia hata ana hata hata pesa ya kununua nguo akuanga nayo wende uko nayo yes wow. mm. mm-hmm. so it was not really a good one cause huyo mama aliteseka sana akapitia shida In the process nikajikuta tumeelewana na mganga sana paka mganga akaniambia nikuwe naenda kumsaidia kazi na saa zingine kabla uende pale kwa mganga mfanye kazi kuna yes. wakati ulitoka kwa huyu mganga wako ukaenda kwa mm. mganga mwingine yes. tuseleze hiyo nitoka kwa huyu mganga nikaenda kwa mganga mwingine huko place inaitwa Chua huko Kitui mm-hmm. vile nilienda huko Kitui nikapatana na mama huyu alikuwa mganga mama mm-hmm. tulifika huko by saa mbili asubuhi mm-hmm. tukapata tayari watu wameja mm-hmm saa mbili asubuhi na tulikuwa watu wengi sana. So in the process ikanifikia namba yangu mimi nafaa niingie nikaingia akanipatia dawa, nikampatia pesa, nilimpatia 7000. So nikitoka nikaeka dawa kwa bag. Hiyo dawa hakunipatia. Hiyo dawa anaku, anakugangua alafu anakuambia ndio uchukue mahali fulani. Mm-hmm. So ukienda hapo mahali unapata jiwe iko lakini ukiingiza mkono hivi unapata dawa. Na hakuna mtu anapeleka hapo. Mm-hmm. Ni yeye mwenyewe anafanya fanya hizo vitu zake hiyo dawa inajikuta hapo mm-hmm. chini ya mawe. Mm-hmm. So vile nilienda nikachukua hiyo dawa nikaeka kwa bag tulikuwa na rafiki yangu huyo huyo nakwambia huyo rafiki yangu mwenye alinyonyesha ngo mganga wa kwanza mm. yeye tena alinyonyesha mganga wa pili mm-hmm. So nikiwa barabarani narudi hiyo dawa ikapotea 
Mm. Yo dawa ikapotea kwa bagi yangu. Nikifika kwa nyumba sina dawa. Hii nikajiuliza kwani hii dawa imepotea aje. So kufika kwa nyumba nikapigiwa mama simu nikamwambia sio ni dawa. Akaniambia usiwahi rudi hapa kwangu tena. We umeniharibia kazi. Ni mwana dawa imerudi hapa na we usiwahi rudi hapa kwangu tena. So hiyo story ikaisha hivyo. Mm -hmm. Ikawa nimepoteza pesa na sijasaidika. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ulimpea 7000. Eh nilimpea 7000 huyo. Sasa wewe pia mbona unaenda kwa mganga mwingine mm -hmm. na kazi ya mganga wa kwanza inaendelea vizuri? Sasa niliona niende ni upgrade kwa sababu mama aliniambia ya huyu ni kama ina take time kidogo lakini ya ule ni haraka haraka. Like ya ule ni kama sure bet ukiona unapata wanao mwenye na pesa mingi. Mm. Because our main target ilikuwa kupata wanaume wenye wako na pesa mingi. Mm -hmm. So naona huyu alinipea pesa 1000 kitu. So ule anaweza nipea kama 50 juu alikuwa anapewa kama 100, mm -hmm. ananunuliwa plot, anafanywa vitu kubwa kubwa. So mimi my target was also nipate mwanaume mwenye anaweza nipea pesa mingi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na hii ni ni waganga mm. kugangua yes. wana, wanasema utapata wanaume. Mm. Inanasa wanaume wote. Inanasa wanaume wenye uh, hawako kwa mungu. Because kuna, kuna mwanaume hata tungekutana na hivya hizi niangalia. Mm. Lakini kuna mwanaume tukukutana na hivyo dawa ikimshika. Ana niangalia na napotelea kwangu kabisa. Mm. Kabisa na hata hizi angalia bibi yake, hizi angalia kitu ingine tena. Ni mimi tu hata niona. Ama for example tuko wanawake wengi kwa ba, ni mimi hata ni sport na ni mimi hata ni kuamilia. Mm. Na siya hata ni kumrembo sana. Mibi tumekana wengine warembo zaidi, lakini mimi hata niona tu. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Na umei kujiwa kwa hii prosesi yote ya kunasa wanaume wa mm. watu na mm. wanaume tu wa kawaida. Yes. Umei kujiwa na mwana mke fulani ya tiwewe, wanaume hey. wangu. Yes, ni mai kujiwa. Mm. There was a lady uya mwenye nakuambia nilikuwa na nimekana buwanake for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we are very good friends. Uya mama alijaribu kunikujia mara mingi sana. Hata akijaribu kunikujia na niambia kisuachane tuna buwanangu na muambia siyezi muacha. Hivyo tu, hata buwana hake mwenye anajua ni kona wanao mwengine, lakini bado tu ananifata. Mm. So, nilikujiwa sana, lakini the lady, I just thank God, because the lady, kuna wakati hata yeye alifika mahali akaenda kwa uganga. Ndiyo hata mimi pia nipige. So, vila alienda kwa mganga, huyo mganga wangu tayari haka nipigia simu asubui. Haka niambia ni mwonyesho huyo mama, kuna mahali anakuendea, ebu kuja mbio. Mm. So, nikaenda. So, kufika kwa hake, haka enda, tuka gangwa, gangwa, tuka funga. Mm. So, kufunga hizo vitu, by the time huyo mama afike kwa mganga, Mambo ilikuwa isharibika. Akirudi kwa nyumba jioni mtoto wake alianguka kutoka kwa gorofa akaumia mkono. Hiyo maneno ikabakfaya kwa mtoto wake. Mm. So kutoka hapu hiyo mama kaniogopa sana akasema, eh hey, u mama ni atari. Mm. So haku anani, ananikaribia kapsa. Mm -hmm. Aliacha na akaniacha kapsa. Mm -hmm. mm. Na hizi madawa minapewa na waganga ni za kumeza, za mm. kuoga, za kuweka kwa chakula. Eh, most of them kama mie nye nilikuwa napewa ilikuwa unga unga kwanza uneka kwa jiko. Mm. Ukeka kwa jiko kuna vile inatoa moshi. Kitoa hiyo moshi hiyo moshi na kukujia. Hiyo mm. moshi kikujia kuna vile unaongea. Mm. So unaongea chenye unataka hiyo moshi kufanyia. Mm. Alafu ingine ilikuwa ya kujipaka. Mm. Nilikuwa naeka kwa mafuta yangu ya kujipaka. Nikisha changanya na mafuta ya kujipaka na nini. Alafu ingine ilikuwa ya kuweka kwa mdomo. Mm. Kamzizi tu naeza chukua nieke kwa mdomo. Nikitisha chenye nataka na pata. Mm. Ata tuseme for example nataka nipigie mtu mwanaume fulani ni muitishe pesa. Mm. Na chukua hiyo mzizi na yeka kwa mdomo alafu na mpigia simu. Immediately ana respond to positive. Hata kama hakuwa na pesa atatafuta anitumia. Mm. Mm. Sasa for example ya moshi ulikuwa nasema nini? Ha, kama hii ya moshi nilikuwa na amuka subuhi na sema mi leo nataka wana ume mwenye wako na pesa. Sitaki wana ume mwenye wana pesa. Leo nataka nipate wana ume mwenye wako sawa. Mm. Hivyo. Mm. Alafu sasa sa zingine pia unezaamua useme. Mi nataka... Mwana mwenye anaendesha gari. Most of the time nilikuwa na itisho na mwenye anaendesha gari nilikuwa na wano ndi wako na do. Mm. Yes. <laughs> nilikuwa ukweli wako na do. <laughs> wengi ya wako wana pesa. Wengi ya wanaendesha gari lakini wako na mashida tu. Wako na mashida kukulika. <laughs> eh, lakini mini kigundua mtu wako na shida na achana na ee. Mm -hmm. Simtaki tena. Nilikuwa na fata tu wana mwenye wako na do. Mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. Sasa ilikuwa je ulipotoka kwa uyu mganga wapili umerudi sasa mm. kwa ule wako. Yes. Mm -hmm. So nilirudi kwa uyu mganga wangu wa kwanza. Kurudi uka kaniambia ni kuena msaidia kazi. So asubi nilikuwa na amuka naenda huko kwake na msaidia kuchemsha maji juu bibi yake alikuwa anafanya kazi bibi yake akona duka kubwa sana kwa mlolongo mm. so mimi nilikuwa naamkea uka asubuhi kama asha kama receptionist na amka na chemsha maji ye kwa mganga na amka mm. na chemsha maji nikisha chemsha maji customers wanaanza kuingia juu huko kuna kuanga na customers even over 50 mm. na wanaanza kuingia asubuhi by saa moja wamefika mm -hmm. so inabidi ile kazi nilikuwa nafanya niache mtu anishikilie nikuje huko kwa mganga juu kwa mganga by jioni atakuwa amenipatia like 10000 mm -hmm. juu tulikuwa tunapata pesa nyingi sana mm -hmm. i remember kuna wakati vijana wengine walikuja huko walikuwa nataka kuua msichana mwingine walitoa 100000 
e, so tulikuwa tunapata pesa sana by that time mm. watu wakikuja wanapeana pesa hapo so ni mimi na account jioni nasema tumepata pesa fulani mm. so ananiambia jilipe pesa fulani hiyo ingine nipatie hivyo mm. 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 hiyo time unamsaidia ujanza kufanya kama mm. mganga wewe pia a nilikuwa namsaidia mm. na na Angali, angalia pia vitu zenye vitu zenye anafanya vile anagangua watu wakikuja mm. the way anafunga funga hizo makamba the way hizo kuku hizo kuku zenye mnaonanga mnaitishwa kuku hizo kuku watu wa wanakula tu cuz tulikuwa tukimaliza kuhudumia client ikifika saa saba, tunachinja <laughs> kuku tunakula na ugali wow e, tuseme kuku zimekuja kama tano, tuna, tulikuwa tunakula kuku daily hiyo huko kwa hiyo boma cuz kuku zilikuwa zinakuja kila wakati ziko nyingi e, mtu anakuja na kuku mbili mwingine tunamuitisha kuku tatu na zikikuja ni makucha tu tunakata mm. makucha akishakata hivi hiyo damu anaweka kwa maji alafu mm. napelekea huyo client kwa bafu anaoga hivyo tu Mm. Ya ilikuwa inaitwa cleansing. Mm. Eh. Lazima utumie damu ya kuku. Eh, lazima utumie damu ya kuku. Mm. Ndio mtu aoshwe sasa. Mm. Mm. So ulikana na mganga for how long ukifanya hiyo kazi? Ah uh, nilikana na mganga for about three weeks. About three weeks kumoja akaamka akaniambia, "Ah wewe usikuje tena, nikamuuliza kwa nini?" Akaniambia hivyo tu. Mi mi damu yangu tu imeniambia utusifanye na we kazi tena jua hata wewe sio wa ukweni wa Mungu nikamuuliza umejuaje mimi ni wa Mungu akaniambia vitu zake kila wakati zimeanza kudifa nikienda huko vitu zake kuna vile zinapigana so nikaacha kwenda huko mm. mm. na wewe ukifanya kazi nayo kuwa ECA eh, i'm doing the wrong thing i'm not supposed to be here. no si kuwa ECA because alikuwa amenichanja amenyekea dawa kwa hii mwili si kuwa na ECA nikitu mbaya mm. hey, in fact hata mtu akikuja nilikuwa na hata siogopi hata watu wananijua alikuwa ananipata huko ma pastors mm. ma politicians watu wa biashara walikuwa wananipata huko na wali wengi wananijua pia. Mm -hmm. e, so si tulikuwa tunaambiana sisi mmenipata nyinyi msiende kusema na mimi pia sitaenda kuwasema. So inakuwa deal. Mm -hmm. e. So just to be precise, waganga wanaweza uwa mtu ule. E, mganga anaweza uwa mtu. Mganga anaweza uwa mtu kwa sababu kama huyo ni msichana alikuwa amekuja. Ni wanaume walikuwa wamekuja wanasema kuna msichana mmoja ana date wanaume watatu mm. na washajuana mm. so walikaa chini waka raise kila mtu 30k 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 kaja 90 moja kajaze kakuwa 100 wakakuja na picha wakaambiwa mganga huyu msichana ametukula sana si tunataka tumuue mm. eh mm -hmm. so huyo mganga alifanya fanya vitu zake after three days nikasikia huyo msichana alikufa mm. eh wow mm. wangapi uliona waki Wow. E, niliona huyo tu ndio niliona akiuawa lakini hao wengine mostly kitu yenye walikuwa wanafanyiwa hmm. ilikuwa maybe kuharibu biashara zao. Huyo mganga alikuwa na nguvu ya kuharibu biashara yako. Tuseme for example we ni competitor wa mtu. Hmm. Mtu anakuja anasema biashara fulani huyo mtu ananisumbua ananifanyia hivi na hivi. Hmm. Then yeye pia alikuanga mtu wako fair. Kama ni wivu hata kusaidia. Oh. E, kama tu ni wivu haizi kusaidia juu atasema wewe uko na wivu. Kama kweli huyo mtu amekosea atakusaidia. Hmm. Atakwambia unataka tufanye aje unamwambia nataka hiyo biashara yake iisha anakuambia sawa anakupatia dawa hiyo mm. dawa hiyo dawa alikuwa na mix na pupu yake mm. eh. so akimix na hiyo pupu yake hiyo dawa anasiaga hiyo pupu yake ameiweka kwa karatasi hapo nilikuwa najua ni hiyo so hiyo alikuwa ananiambia nisiguze hiyo ni yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anaguza alikuwa anakausha kwa jua alafu anasiaga mm. so hiyo anachanganya na dawa ingine so mtu akikuja anasema biashara fulani imemkosea anasema sawa nitakupea dawa akikupea hiyo dawa unaenda unamwaga kwa mlango ya huyo mtu hakuna client atakanyaga hata mmoja hiyo mm. duka inakaa kama yani pupu kabisa mm. mm. watu wanatoroka watu wanatoroka hakuna mtu ataenda hapo mm -hmm. eh. okay you after living huyo mganga how was mm. life for you after living huyo mganga life was not easy on my side because nilikuwa naona like kuna ile pesa nilikuwa napata ya haraka haraka mm. lakini mimi kutoka kwa huyo mganga kuna kitu ilifanyika because i felt deep inside me ya kwamba sijakuwa nikifanya vizuri sijakuwa nikifanya vizuri na nimekuwa nikikosa mm. it is when so, so nililala nikaonyeshwa nikiwa Mombasa ni ndoto tu niliota nikiwa Mombasa mm -hmm. na by that time nilikuwa nimeka like uh, mwezi moja mm -hmm. siendi kwa mganga sikunywi pombe ya na feel tu hii dhambi nimefanya ni mingi naanza kujirudia mm -hmm. Then nikaota nikiwa kule Mombasa. So vile niliota nikiwa Mombasa niliamka the following day my brother akanipigia simu akaniambia kuna kazi amepata Mombasa mm -hmm. ya kuuza sola inaitwa Delight Solar. Mm -hmm. It is when nilitoka nikaenda huko nikafanya kazi ya kuuza sola huko nikakuwa supervisor coast region. Mm -hmm. Nikauza uza na nikiwa huko mambo na uganga sasa nimeachana nayo kabisa hata sitai kusikia. Mm -hmm. 
So ile kitu na ile kitu sasa nimebakisha ni pombe ndio naenda kwa club kidogo kidogo na kunywa nini nini but sio ile kila wakati vile nilikuwa naifanya mm. naifanya na kauoga uoga fulani. Mm. So one day nikaamka one day usiku nikilala nikaota nimeenda kwa kanisa fulani hiyo church iko tu na makuti nyazi nyazi. Na hiyo church imebomoka bomoka then nikajiuliza sasa hii church hii church iko wapi then sauti kaniambia hiyo church Am, asubuki amka utaona penyewe chachi iko. Nilikuwa sijawahi enda chachi nikiwa huko. Mm. So nikaamka asubuhi nikaanza kutembea hivi najiuliza na hiyo chachi nitaipata kweli niko tu peke yangu. Nikaenda nikaona hiyo chachi kwa barabara nikasema eh hey, hii chachi niliona kwa ndoto ndio hiyo so nikaingia kwa hiyo kanisa. Kuingia kwa hiyo kanisa nikapata pasta kwa hapo na bibi yake na mtoto. Wako tu watatu hivyo. So tukaabudu abudu hapo hata hakuna viti ni benches tu hiyo church tu hata hakuna vyombo yani iko tu hivyo mm. so kuabudu kutoka hapo hivyo usiku nikiwa nimelala sauti kakuji kaniongeleshe kaniambia nimetumwa kwa hiyo church nisaidie huyo pasta nikajiuliza namsaidia aje na mimi mwenyewe hata sijaokoka so it is when hiyo pasta alianza kutembea na mimi akaanza kunifundisha biblia kaniambia najua hujaokoka lakini Mungu ana Mungu ako na mpango mzuri na wewe so through guiding and counseling na maombi kidogo kidogo nikaanza kuacha mambo na kunywa pombe nini nini but pombe ilikuwa imeniingia sana kwanza kwenda club nilikuwa imeniingia sana yenye yani nilikuwa na feel siezi acha mm. but uh, i thank god cause through that kuna siku moja nikiwa nimelala nilionyeshwa nimerudi at river Hmm. Nikasema mimi siezi rudi ya Triva. Nikaamka asubuhi nikasema mimi siezi rudi ya Triva hata nini ifanyike. Nikakemea nikasema wewe shetani nataka rudi ya Triva mimi siezi rudi. Uh-huh. So nikiwa na kemea kemea hivyo the following day tena nikalala mimi ni mtu unaotanga ndoto sana. Naweza ota hii ni yote hii ni yote hii. Ai naota vitu mingi. Hmm. So nikiwa nimelala tena siku ya pili nikaota nimefutwa job na nimejikuta natembelea slippers ya blue na red. So I'm like eh hey, I hold supervisor nitafutwa kazi nitembelee slippers ya blue na red. Haikumaliza two days nikafutwa kazi. Nikaekelewa makosa nikafutwa kazi. Hiyo siku nilifutwa kazi nikilala usiku sauti kaniambia tulikwambia urudi ya thrive kukataa nikasema siezi rudi ya thrive. Cuz nilikuwa naona zile dhambi nimefanya huko thrive nitarudi aje kuonekana na watu. Cuz tayari nilikuwa na feel guilty. Ule mama mwenye nilikuwa namkosea bwanake takutana aje although hakuwa na shida na mimi cause hata alikuwa amefika mahali ameachana bwana yake ameenda mm. juu yangu tu na mimi bado nikakataa kuolewa kwa huyo mwanaume ni ile tu kumchezea nilikuwa namchezea so nilifika mahali vile nilifutwa kazi nikauza vitu zangu zote kwa nyumba nikapata fare nikapanda gari nikasema acha ni, niende oshago kwetu cause nilikuwa nimesema siezi rudi huko mm. by that time nilikuwa na mtoto mdogo my last mom mwenye niko na yesa hizi kupanda na ye gari tukakuja kufika Devik gari karibika yeah. ilikuwa Simba coach gari kuharibika nika tukajiuliza nini mbaya wakasema watu wote washuke waangalie gari kona shida gani watu wote wakishuka gari na move watu wakirudi gari na kwama so hawa waislamu ni watu wanajua sana kwa kudetect hizo vitu wakasema kwa hii gari kuna mtu wako na maneno juu kwa nini gari mkishuka hii gari natembea mm. sasa watu wataingia one by one Mm. Mwenye itakwama tutajua huyo ndio na shida na huyo mtu tutamshukisha hapa. Mm. So mimi sauti kaniambia ni wewe. Nikasema ah si mimi mimi naenda nyumbani. Mimi sikutaka kushukia hapa by the way. Mm. Na nikiwa kwa barabara nikikuja kuna mtu alikuwa amenipigia simu ameniambia sikuju unitembelee kitengela nikasema mi naenda nyumbani kwanza ndio nirudi. So Mungu hakutaka niende ushago kwetu because maybe ningeenda huko ningepotea kabisa. Mm. Uh, vile niliingia kwa gari hiyo gari ikakwama wakasema mm. basi ni wewe na ulikuwa unaenda wapi? Sasa nikaona siwezi kuambia Nairobi nikamwambia nilikuwa naenda at river. Eh na si tumefika. Na wewe mbona hujashuka? Mbona ulikuwa unatusumbua? <laughs> eh so wakanishukishia vitu zangu hapo chini. Mm. Sikuwa na pesa by that time vizuri. Nikachukua vitu zangu nikaenda kwa my brother. Mm. So nikiwa nimeenda kwa my brother Kitengela, uh, huko ndio Mungu alianza kunikuwak na mimi na kuanza kwa kuwa kwa life yangu. Mm. Siku moja nikiwa napita kwa stage hapo Kitengela, kulikuwa na crusade kubwa sana na nikasema acha nikaribia tu nisikize neno nilikuwa napenda sana kusikiza neno lakini nilikuwa najua tu mimi ni mwenye dhambi lakini napenda tu kusikiza neno mm. so nikiwa hapo huyo pastor akasema kuna mtu hapa Mungu anataka kum, kumkomboa leo Aa, na kama unajua ni wewe kuja tu mbele mimi nikasema mimi siezi nikasikia sauti ananiambia ndani nikasema mimi siezi watu wengi wakaenda but mimi nikabaki akasema huyo mtu hajafika kama unajua ni wewe kuja tu nikasema mimi siezi enda mimi nikakataa so akaanza akasema huyo mtu amevaa tishati ya white na trouser ya red 
watu wakaanza kuniangalia mimi nikasema siendi mimi nikasimama tu hapo nikasema siendi sana Asha akakuja akaniambia mbona naona umevaa t-shirt nini ah mimi nikasema mimi siendi nikikaa hivyo huyo prophet na akaendelea akasema huyo mtu jina yake naanza na s mimi nikasema siendi bado mm. so mimi nikiwa nimesimama hapo watu wakaanza kuombewa huko mbele akasema Mungu amemwambia huyo mwenye Mungu inafaa kwa hiyo siku hiyo ndio ilikuwa siku yake na hiyo crusade iliwekwa hapo juu yake na kama haezi enda Mungu mwenyewe amtoe kwa watu amleta hapo mbele. So bila alianza kuombea watu akasema watu wainue mikono nilijikuta tu niko hapo mbele. Sijui I don't know what happened nilijikuta nimebebwa niko hapo mbele nikafanywa deliverance. So from there akaniambia Mungu amemwambia mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu na vile nimeokoka hivyo nisirudie dhambi tena. Juni kirudia dhambi naweza hata kufa. Because mm. in the process kuna siku tuliwahi enda huko mlolongo kunywa pombe. Mm na msana mwingine akagongwa na gari tu nikiona na tulikuwa tumeshikana mkono so yeye alicross mbele jua alikuwa amelewa sana mimi nikiwa nangojea akagongwa na gari mm. so hiyo kitu ikawa inanisumbua sana nikaona eh hata mimi hiyo siku ni kama ningekufa cuz tunge cross na hivi tungekufa tukiwa wote wawili mm. so after prayers nika feel tu ndani ya roho yangu eh hey, ni ukweli nafaa niokoke so akaniombea wokovu akaniambia the following week niende ni muone nikaenda nikamuona akaniambia ni siai kunywa pombe tena na siai ni siai kwa waganga tena kwa ameonyeshwa vitu mingi sana. Mm. Na akaniambia Mungu atakutumia sana kwa levo kubwa ukiachana na hizi vitu unafanya. Mm. So from there nikaokoka uh, Mungu akanisaidia kaanza kwenda church. Mm-hmm. Kwanza kwenda church tu hivi Mungu akaanza kunitumia kuombea watu, kufanyia watu deliverance na Mungu akanisaidia pia kufika the year 2020 cause in the year 2019 nakwambia niliombewa wokovu. Mm-hmm. The year 2020 ndio nikafanya launching ya organization inaitwa Waraid Kenya. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what inform the name Waraid Kenya? Ah uh, Waraid Kenya inamaanisha war against rape and indirect uh, discrimination. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hiyo jina ilikujaje? Ah uh, hiyo jina ilikuja tu baada ya mimi kuangalia the year 2020 there was covid mm-hmm. na ukiangalia watoto wengi sana walirepiwa. Mm-hmm. Uh, during that covid season hata brothers na sisters walikuwa na repia wana, wana, wana kwa nyumba unapata mipango wakando wa merepo wasichana na nikaona kulikuwa kana kasichana kingine kenye kalikuwa kanavalia sana nguo fupi fupi mm. so in the beginning it was war against rape and indecent dressing then nikaona hapana wacha nitoe indecent dressing mm-hmm. ni kwa indirect discrimination mm-hmm. so that is how that name came mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. Mm. and what what were you initially doing with this organization mm. what right? Uh, initially we are doing uh, we are the, our mission is raising women and girls as nation building pillars and transforming agents mm-hmm. uh, we talk to girls we go to schools tunaongelesha mambo na guiding and counseling the way unaona mimi niliachia shule nikiwa at a very tender age na ukurudi ah uh, sasa hizi niko shule umerudi shule sasa yes mm-hmm. <laughs> nimerudi shule mm-hmm. so naenda naongelesha watoto na waambia maneno ya early pregnancy na waambia maneno ya rape cases mm-hmm. na waelezea vile nafaa wa kwe, wa abstain even from early sex vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. so that wasikuwe kama mimi mm-hmm. and most of them wakiniona wanasema eh hey, tunatamani tukue kama wewe naambia hapana usikuwe kama eh hey, unajua msikuwe kama mimi saa hizi because i'm just story yangu mm-hmm. at least mkisoma mmalize shule mm-hmm. mtakuwa some, someone better than me mm-hmm. wengi wanaona like there is something i've achieved Mm. but they don't know behind the scene kuna mambo mingi nimepitia mm. yes mm-hmm. uh. so you take pads to girls yes, support yes. widows eh uh, we support widows mm. we take pads to girls we go to children homes mm. of late tumeenda children home inaitwa nuru children's home kwa thriver mm-hmm. tumeenda pia pillars of hope children's home na pia tulikuwa tunaendanga kule bondeni children's home mm-hmm. so we thank god mali tumefika but uh we really need people to come on board and support us. I was about to ask do you have sponsors? Hey. Okay, for now we only have well wishers. Most of them are my friends, my colleagues at work. Mm-hmm. Wale watu tu wananijua. Na pia mimi natuanga mshahara wangu saa zingine naweka kwa hiyo kazi because I really feel it's a burden Mungu amenipatia. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Unafanya kazi gani? Nafanya kazi ya real estate. Oh, Nauza really? plots. Mm-hmm. Yes. Eh, uh, I'm a marketing manager mm-hmm. at New City Real Estate. Mm-hmm. So nikienda kazi pia najipanga pia kuingia kwa mashule na kuingia pia kuona widows. Mm, na bado wewe ni pasta. Yes, mimi pia ni pasta na ubiri njili. Wow, you wear so many crowns. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so mm-hmm. kwa hii organization ya Wared because this is what makes you a boss lady yes. on our show today. Mm. Uh, ni challenges gani mm. unapitia? Yeah. 
uh, the challenges ambazo napitia sana kwa hii ni ya, ya, ya wa raid Kenya mm -hmm. ni finances hiyo mm -hmm. tu ndio challenge kubwa mm -hmm. because uh, naweza pigiwa simu maybe niambiwe kuna shule kama saa hizi kuna shule kwa mahali mm -hmm. kule Kaimosi nilitumiwa barua nilitumiwa hadi barua na principal nikaambiwa tunataka pads this is a boarding school tumefanya ku kusponsor watoto fulani wenye wajiwezi na hawana pads na shule pia iwezi wapatia pads please bring to us pads so unapata sasa zingine finances inakuwa challenge inafaa niende huko mm -hmm. the way to move from one place to another is also a challenge I really want to reach as many people as I can in mm -hmm. Kenya hapa because for now tumefanya six counties mm -hmm. tumefanya Mombasa county we were doing at a county level mm -hmm. kwa tunaenda tunafanya kwa counties at least because uh, my vision that's vision 2030 ni kwamba ni kuwe na ofisi wa raid Kenya kuwe na ofisi every county mm -hmm. so we need like 47 offices mm -hmm. whereby msichana akiwa na shida anaweza pale we have lawyers on board wanaweza enda pale asaidike mm -hmm. na pia kama hana parts anaweza enda apewe parts pale kwa ofisi and it's not even about parts it's about what we instill in them mm -hmm. there is something that we instill in them whereby tukitoka hapo hata parts haikuangi muhimu sana so we really need financial support mm -hmm. ya kutu allow to move around mm -hmm. because I have a team of people that we are working together. We move around with them mm -hmm. to kienda tukiongelesha watoto shuleni. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now for somebody who is watching and is willing to support, and other support to uh, For someone who is watching, to on Facebook, Wared Kenya. Kiangalia kwa TikTok, tuko Wared Kenya. Kiangalia on Instagram, pia tuko Wared Kenya. And for you, maybe to send in your support, you can use the TIL number if you are in Kenya, 926-3215. 926-3215, that is our TIL number. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also call me or mm -hmm. contact me direct, 0720-75455. I am the director. And we also have the project manager's number, 0715-381099. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a PayPal account, Scholastica Mahungu at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wared mm. Kenya kuna staff ya watu wangapi? Uh, Wared Kenya kuna staff ya watu kuminatano saizi. Kuminatano? Yes. Are you paying them or they're just volunteers? They are volunteering. I'm also calling uh, for anybody who can volunteer. Karibu sana Wared Kenya, tutembe na wewe. It's all about having passion and mm -hmm. transforming lives. To, uh, and also touching lives outside there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, the schools you are going to, the mm. widows you are supporting, mm. how do you pick them? Uh, we pick them according to the needs. For example, uh, for the schools, we, we normally go to any school around, but it's also according to the need. Kama saizi yonye tumeitwa Kaimosi, that is our first project next year to Kianza. In January, tunanzia uko Kaimosi. Mm -hmm. So the widows ni maybe niende mahali na nione kuna need. Kama yonye tunenda kisi saizi, mm -hmm. niliende uko nikapata so many widows are suffering. Unapata watu wanalalanja, watu wanateseka, even dressing is a problem. Then I just decided nikasema apana nitaenda uko. Mm -hmm. So in case pia you have any widow somewhere, unawana kabisa na itaji need, Unaweza kutu contact, tutakuja. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then there is somebody watching, and maybe mm. they are in need. There mm. is a group of widows, yes. group of uh, children, maybe mm. children's home orphanage. Mm. They are watching. Now, wanataka msaada. Yes. Can they just call the number you just mentioned? Yes, yes. So, wale wanataka msaada, you can call the number uh, 0720 or you can WhatsApp me. Because most of the time, if you WhatsApp me, unanipata haraka sana. And also the project manager's number 0715 mm -hmm. Yes. Nani skepe unenda abroad kufanya hizi ma project? Talk to us about that. Aha, yes. So uh, this year, uh, it was in July, I received an invitation uh, to Uganda by Yoeri Museveni. Wow. Tukaenda uko, we were at the presidential hall. Mm -hmm. We were launching the Young Women of Africa. Mm -hmm. Ambayo, it's an upcoming organization that is also partnering with us and as we speak right now i have an invitation to addis ababa we'll be having a meeting from 8th to 11th mm -hmm. uh, kwenda uko ethiopia kuongelea pia the same same mambo na wasichana na women mm -hmm. so we are really looking for activists outside there if you are an activist please come on board kuja tembei safari pamoja mm -hmm. come you raise your voice sauti yako iskike so that you become uh, someone great, even in the community and in the society, and even in your nation. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So it's a course, Munafanya, it's not just yeah. ending right here. People are recognizing your effort yes, and yes. you're being rewarded. Yes, Have you ever yes, won yes. Any, any kind of award? Yes, yes, yes. We won an award, she awards. It was in July, mm -hmm. Tulipata, and I was among the first runners up was she awards. Mm -hmm. I've also won the second one that I'm going to receive the award in South Africa in February. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ukona awa tutu wako kuna msichana. E ni kuna wasichana. Ni wasichana wate? E wawili. Wow. Yes. And somebody would want to know based on the story umetupatia, ukachana na buwana and mm. is Kola married. Are you a family person right now? Wow. Thank you for that question. I was about to go there. So Scholastica is married mm -hmm. to Mr. Omari, mm -hmm. who is our project manager. Uh, we met on Karumbeta TV. Kama ni meenda kupreach, na epi ya mekuja kupreach. Wow. From there, vile mambo ilienda, musi... Muli preach and the rest is history. Tuli preach na the rest is history. Kumbe ilikuwa divine connection. Mungu alikuwa nataka tuende tukutania huko. I'm married. I had a wedding in last year with my handsome husband. Hallelujah. And I thank God for that. Tumeza tumewa picha tuweke. <laughs> yes, he will also come on board and find an interview. At our LZ, you know, I have a whole, I have a whole history of me. Even me, I have a lot of But he has a lot of things. 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 Naona mganga ndiyo huya na nikujia, na niyombea, because he's also a pastor. Yes. Wow. And he's never judged you based on your past? No, 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 no. If he was to judge, hata atunge kuwa na ee. Because starting from the men that we had, a number of them, more than 20, and some of them hata anawajua. Knowing what I was doing in the past, hiyo prostitution na nini, hata ange niyoa. But he never judged that. Yes, so... Mtu wana kupenda, wana kupenda hivyo. Wana kupenda bila... Eee, ana hizo ma-restrictions mingi, siju unakaa aje, siju ulisikia, uliambiwa no haku wana hizo. Wow. Yes. And in the current society, we have... Let me call it a challenge. Yes. Ya mtu kurezi mtoto si wake. You spoke of three kids. Yes. Which you had in your previous relationship. Yes. How is it treating your kids? Ah, in fact, he's very loving. Mimi hata ndiyo nakuwa mkali kwao, lakini ya anawapenda sana. Yeye, in fact, hata watoto wakiwa na challenge ni ye wanaenda kwa aki. Hata waniambi. Mina shutukia tu kitu ilisha fanyika. He's very loving and caring. Anawapenda. The father accepted me. Babake pia kaka nikubali. The family kaka nikubali. And I feel at home. Wow. Yes. You're so lucky. Sure. Anyway, for somebody who is watching, I know they have picked something from this story and mm. uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with us yes uh, it's an honor mm, thank uh, you ladies and gentlemen that was our, our interview with madam scholastica mm. cultural ambassador at worried kenya what mm. have you picked from this story to be a poor comment section and thank you so much for the entire crew that has made this interview a success thank mm. you so much Una Misim Swahili, super producer behind the camera and editing of this video mm. and remember if you want to feature on our bench, you can WhatsApp me on 0797-227-185. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you. We touch, we break, make it seem like we feel the same. We love what we have. Midea TV, spilling the tea, setting the trends.